In a few short months, the COP26, billed as the Global Climate Change Summit, will take place from the 1st to the 12th of November in Glasgow. So what is COP26? Who attends and what actions can we expect to deal with climate change? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. So, by now, you may already be aware that COP26 is expected to be held in Glasgow, Scotland, starting on the 1st of November and will last for two weeks until the 12th of November, after it was rescheduled from November 2020 due to the rising COVID-19 pandemic. However, there are vital questions that are begging to be answered. So, here goes. What is COP26? COP26 sounds like a strange title to be given to such an important global meeting. The COP is a global summit on climate change held by the parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, otherwise known as UNFCCC, which is an international treaty with an objective to prevent dangerous human interference with the climate system, primarily by stabilising greenhouse gas, GHG, emissions. The summit is known as the Conference of Parties, or COP for short. The first COP was held in Berlin in 1995 and has been held every year since, except for the 2020 when it was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And this year's meeting will be the 26th annual summit, which is why it's called COP26. If you're getting value from this episode on COP26, please click the like button. What is pre-COP? As a prelude to each conference of parties, a preliminary meeting is held about a month before called the pre-COP. The pur purpose of this meeting is to provide a selected group of countries with an informal setting to discuss and exchange views on some key political aspects of the negotiations to offer, to the greatest extent possible, a political guidance for the subsequent negotiations. The pre-COP will be held between the 30th of September and the 2nd of October and will be attended by 35 to 40 countries, representatives of the UNFCCC Secretariat and chairs of the subsidiary bodies of the Convention and a number of stakeholders who share a common interest in combating climate change. Additionally, other global events will be taking place to support the run-up to COP26, such as the Climate Expo, which is the first virtual conference from the COP26 Universities Network and the Italian University Network for Sustainable Development. The COP Intersessional Virtual Meeting, the G7 Summit in the UK, London Climate Action Week, the UN General Assembly, New York Climate Week, and finally the G20 Summit in Italy. Who will attend COP26? Nearly all of the countries in the world are party to the UNFCCC. And it's intended that there would be approximately 200 world leaders and 30,000 delegates expected to attend, take part in the discussions, report back on progress since the 2015 Paris Agreement and make further decisions on how to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat the impact that climate change is already having. Let's hope that the ongoing travel and capacity restrictions will be relaxed following the reduction of COVID-19 cases, with the hope that the world leaders will be able to attend 
for the key in-person meetings and that we can all watch these events as they unfold. Why is COP26 important? For me, there are three reasons why COP26 will be important. Firstly, COP26 will be the first time since the Paris Agreement in 2015 that countries will be required to upgrade their pledges on tackling emissions reductions. These are known as Nationally Determined Contributions, or NDCs. And these NDCs embody efforts by each country to reduce national emissions and adapt to the impacts of climate change. More about nationally determined contributions will be covered in a future episode. Secondly, the previous COP25, held in Madrid in 2019, failed to reach consensus in many key areas. With its many unresolved issues, decisions were pushed forward for resolution at COP26. So COP26 will be important for renewing an international effort on climate change. Finally, COP26 will see the return of the United States to the negotiating table, with President Biden making action to tackle climate change as one of his early priorities of the new administration, including concrete leadership and action by returning the United States to the Paris Agreement after its withdrawal in 2019. What actions can we expect? The COP26 summit is expected to deliver on four key goals. Firstly, secure global net zero by mid-century and keep 1.5 degrees within reach. Here, countries are being asked to come forward with ambitious 2030 emission reductions targets through their nationally determined contributions that align with reaching net zero by the middle of the century. In order to meet these stretching targets, countries will need to accelerate the phase out of coal, curtail deforestation, speed up the switch to electric vehicles and encourage investment in renewables. Secondly, adapt to protect communities and natural habitats. As the climate is already changing and is expected that it will continue to change even if we reduce our emissions and will still have its devastating effects on climate and on our habitats. At COP26, it is intended that countries will need to work together to enable and encourage actions for countries affected by climate change, such as the protection and restoration of ecosystems and to build defences, warning systems and resilient infrastructure and agriculture to avoid losses of homes, livelihoods and even lives. Thirdly, mobilise finance. To deliver on the first two goals, developed countries must make good on their promise to mobilise at least $100 billion in climate finance per year. Here, international financial institutions must play their part by working towards unleashing the trillions of dollars of private and public sector finance required to secure global net zero. And finally, work together to deliver. With recognition that countries can only rise to the challenges of the climate crisis by working together. At COP26, it will include sub-goals which will finalise the Paris rulebook, the detailed rules to make the Paris Agreement operational, and to accelerate action to tackle the climate crisis through collaboration between governments, businesses and civil society. And for greater public engagement, as there is likely to be an overwhelming public response to the summit, and increasingly pressing calls for global action. This includes increasingly vocal young people, with a specific note of the Youth for Climate event being planned for the pre-COP in Italy. Further information on the issues presented in this episode are available from the COP26, pre-COP 
and UNFCCC websites. So, to summarise, we should all hope that COP26 goes ahead in November 2021 with renewed energy to deal with the important opportunities to deliver on the promise of the Paris Agreement commitment for holding the increase in the global average temperature to well below 2 degrees above pre-industrial levels and pursuing efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels. In the run-up to the COP26 summit, I will aim to provide other episodes to help in understanding climate change and the actions that you can take both as an environmental manager or consultant and as an individual. If this episode has helped to advance your understanding of the COP26 summit, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. Further information on COP26 and references to the documents mentioned in this episode are given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.